What's up, guys? Pencil Lady Five Hundred Five here. Hope y'all like that new channel intro. Anyway, today I have a Lionel Trains and Sharkins set from nineteen seventy seven, and we're gonna check it out today here, right here, right now. This is a neat set. Now, before we begin, I have a special announcement. On Wednesday, October eleventh, it will be my birthday, so I'll be holding a live stream that day. And to just, you know, have fun. Make sure to tune in at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we'll be doing some fun stuff. I'll be running trains. And yes, I will be taking requests on what to run. And I will also be doing a Q&A and, you know, just having fun. So, yes, remember, Wednesday, October 11th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, on with the video. All right, so before I unbox this, the way I got this set is I went to the Wheaton train show down in DuPage County, Illinois, and uh, saw this, and yeah, when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Uh, the uh, seller was asking $100 for it. I offered 70 and after some a little bit of negotiation, not a whole lot, uh, paid $80 for this and I was really happy. So now I have not opened this yet. So this is going to be, this is going to be my live reaction here. So let's open this set. All right. So we got to flip it over here, pull it out bit by bit. So here, Ooh, okay. So this is the part of it so it has there is the engine there so this is the little republic steel engine as you can see very small very lightweight and we'll put that off to the side here and you have a little santa fe bobber caboose again very lightweight and it looks like the uh, smokestacks with it too it's uh, been taped to the bottom so we'll get that done um, uh, there is what seems to be the bottom of the crane. There, ah, the cabin's here. There's the cabin to the crane. And, oh, that looks like a little sack. Put that off to the side. And this is the, uh, seems to be the shack. Or, or the, uh, base for the shack of the crane. And then there's a gondola... There's a bunch of a uh, bunch of freight and whatnot still on the uh, sprues. There is your transformer here. This is uh, looks like it could be either AC or DC. And just very, yeah, very simple, slow, fast. So we'll put that off to the side. Uh, there is the. There's the uh, curved sections of track, and also there's, there. so, oh wait, no, these are straight sections of track, and there's the boom of the crane. Looks like even it's still attached to some of the sprue. Um, more parts, more freight stuff still attached to sprues. Um, and then here are the two freight cars. Got a Penn Central gondola. Hey, that's my name. <laughs> and a Union Pacific flat car. Let me get this out of here. So this set not only comes with a train and track, but it also comes with a truck and some buildings, some cardboard buildings and people. So we're gonna have to see where that all is. Let's just move that to the side. There's a uh, U.S. Priority Package. Ah, there's the buildings in there. And, ooh, some promotional stuff. How to Build a Railroad Empire by Lionel. There's some of your building parts. Yep. Can't, can't lose those. There's the instruction guide. And a bunch of other building stuff. That looks like a be a platform here we're gonna put this do a little clean up here and put this back in the package here 
Move that off to the side. Building parts. More building parts. Let's see what else is in there. Another building. Lots of cardboard buildings with this, or pieces for cardboard buildings. And we got the last part in here. This has, ah, okay, so this has the curved sections of track, the hopper, and that Penn Central truck. All right, let's get this all set up and we'll take a look at it. I fiddled around with it for a while and I got the crane uh, mostly built. I just don't have the uh, crate hook uh, attached to it. And then I also got the uh, truck all good to go. And this is a nice little truck. Um, so you got a little Penn Central cab over truck. It's got a die cast uh, base. So it's got a little bit of weight to it, but uh, I really like I really like the green and also, I mean, the Penn Central logo. And then I got the uh, trailer full of stuff that uh, either fell off the sprues or was already off the sprues. And so I just loaded them onto the truck here. And now I need your guys' help deciding. So I left everything that was still on the sprues on. And I don't know if I want to cut them off. Or just keep them on the sprue. So I'm going to put a community post out asking if I should do that. And I will let you guys vote. Uh, whichever decision has the most votes, we'll go with that. So yeah, so the train itself has very basic control. Um, as you can see here, it's got a, a slow and fast uh, setting and a little directional switch. And it's very, very basic. So let's get this train running. As you can see, uh, not nothing very uh, extreme. And the directional uh, switch does work, so we can go backwards. Um, of course, this is not no high-end model. This is a uh, kind of bare-bones starter set. Well, maybe not bare bones, but still, like, this, like, shows uh, kind of how old sets were just really good. Um, this also came with buildings. This is the uh, frame to the uh, shed. I didn't put it all together, but, yeah, so that's the frame to the shed. But, yeah, it kind of goes to show that starter sets were just great, decent back then. So, yeah, we'll get some running shots of this, and we'll end the video there. Alright, and before I wrap this video up, I want to do a little collection update. Uh, I got two other things from the uh, Wheaton Show. I got this uh, number 9622 uh, NBA boxcar made by Lionel. And I got this Lionel Jr. freight set from the pre-war era. So uh, yeah, that is uh, all that I got from the... Uh, Wheaton train show. Make sure to tune in next week. I'm going to do a video on this set here. This is a nice little set. And there you have it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought and what you want to see next. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to uh, tune in on October 11th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time to uh, see the live show. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. This is Penn Central 8505, out.